we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section linear algebra and this problem is on the orthonormal basis vectors and this question has appeared in CSIR national eligibility test held on 30th November 2020 and it is from the section C. The problem is let the set consisting of V1, V2, V3 be an orthonormal basis of R cube. Let V be the 3 by 3 matrix whose columns are V1, V2, V3. Which of the following statements are necessarily true? We are given four options. Option 1, V, V transpose is equal to identity. Option 2, V transpose V is equal to identity. Option 3, V is equal to V transpose. Option 4, determinant of V is not 0. Let us first of all see some equivalence, equivalent definitions of an orthogonal matrix. A real square matrix A of order n is an orthogonal matrix if and only if A transpose A is equal to A A transpose is equal to I n. And uh, the other equivalent definition is a real square matrix of order n is an orthogonal matrix if and only if its columns form an orthonormal basis its columns form an orthonormal basis of the euclidean space r power n under the standard inner product the third one is a real square matrix of order n is an orthogonal matrix if and only if its columns its rows form its rows form an orthonormal basis of the Euclidean space R power n under the standard inner product. We now get into the problem and discuss the solution in detail. And uh, let us take uh, the statements that are given in options 1 and 2. And let us see the validity of uh, these uh, two statements. We are given the set consisting of V1, V2, V3 is an orthonormal basis of the Euclidean space R cube. Meaning that the inner product of Vi, Vj is 0 when i not equal to j and is equal to 1 when i is equal to j. And we are given capital V, the matrix whose columns are these orthonormal vectors V1, V2, V3 and by the equivalence of the definitions of the orthogonal matrix because the columns of V are orthonormal vectors V is an orthogonal matrix of order 3 and by equivalence V transpose V is equal to V V transpose is equal to I3 therefore the options that are given in 1 and 2 are true. Let's look at uh, the option 4. The determinant of V is not 0. And we have, we have already seen V transpose V is equal to V V transpose is equal to I3. Take the determinants on both sides. You will get a determinant of V transpose V is equal to determinant of I3. And that will imply determinant of V transpose into determinant of V is the 1. And determinant of V transpose is determinant of V. And that thereby the left hand side will become determinant of V whole square. That is equal to 1. That will imply determinant of V is equal to plus or minus 1. So thus the determinant of V is not 0. Thus the option 4 is true. We can get the assertion determinant of V is not 0 
even by the following argument. That is, we are, we have V transpose V is equal to V, V transpose is equal to I N and that means uh, V is invertible and V inverse is V transpose. So, V inverse exists means uh, V is non-singular, that means the determinant of V is not zero. This is an alternate uh, way of uh, getting that uh, assertion, determinant of V is not zero. Now let us get into the third option, V is equal to V transpose. Let us consider a counter example, let V is equal to the 3 by 3 matrix whose first column is cos theta minus sin theta 0, sin the second row sin theta cos theta 0, third row 0, 0, 1. It is a rotational matrix, agreed, right. And uh, clearly the columns are orthonormal vectors of r cube. The norm of each column is 1 and the inner product of uh, any two different columns is 0, yes. And uh, put theta is equal to pi by 4, then we get capital V, the 3 by 3 matrix whose first row is 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2, 0. Second row, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 0. Third row, 0, 0, 1. And we see very clearly uh, it is not a symmetric matrix because the first column is not same as the first row. So note that V is not a symmetric matrix. Therefore, V transpose is not equal to V and therefore the option 3 is not true. So, option 3 is not true and the remaining options 1, 2 and 4 are true. Therefore, our final answer is the options 1, 2 and 4 are true. So, that is the discussion of the problem from the section linear algebra and the problem is based on the orthonormal set of basis vectors. So I hope that you have understood the solution of this problem and go on working out some more problems on the concept of orthogonal matrices and I wish you all the best. Thank you.